Let's say you're tasked with creating an org chart in Microsoft PowerPoint. You could go to the Insert tab and use the Smart Shapes or Smart Art. It's a little bit challenging though and those can be hard to manipulate. What we're going to do is we're going to just use plain objects that we've drawn to create a, an org chart. So to begin with, what I'm going to do is just copy this item. One real quick way to duplicate an item is to just press Control D and that will copy the item that you currently have. It makes a duplicate. So you can see I've got my little boxes here. I'm going to arrange them rather loosely and then I'm going to create a CEO here. So let's say I want these objects to be aligned and then centered underneath this one. All I need to do is highlight the three objects that I want to align, go to the Arrange button on my Home tab, and go down to the Align button. From here you'll notice I have the option to arrange either vertically or horizontally. I'm going to arrange these horizontally. And notice how it lines them up along the middle all the way across. Now also notice though how my spacing is not quite even here. So I can use that same group of buttons, I'm going to go to Arrange, Align, to distribute them evenly horizontally. That's Distribute Horizontally. And you'll notice, you'll notice now that they're evenly spaced. Once I've got these arranged, I don't want anybody messing that up, so I'm going to go to Arrange, and I'm going to group the items. From here, I'm going to move these out of the way, I can align my CEO over my second level of executives. So if I click on this one, hold down my shift key, again I can go back to arrange, align, and I can center these buttons vertically by using the arrange center. And you'll notice it gives me a nice even spacing on my org chart. Now I still haven't put in the lines, and lines can be a bit tricky if you're going to draw an individual line in between each one of these. But there's a way you can do this It's quite simple. If I click on my line drawing tool and create the line that I want, I'm holding down the shift key to make sure I get a straight line. I'm going to increase the thickness of that a little bit. What I'm going to do then is drag the line down to where I would want that to go. Now you'll notice the line comes in on top of the other objects. Again, I'm going to use my arrange button. I'm going to go back to Arrange, and I'm going to send that line to the back. See how it's now behind the objects. Once I've got the, uh, uh, the line hidden behind the boxes, I'm going to select both of those. I'm going to go back to my Align button and align those on the center so that that line goes right down the center. I'm also going to go to Arrange and Group. And now I've got a nice grouping of three for this, this group of second level executives. Really creating an org chart in, in PowerPoint is quite simple if you just know how to use the Arrange Align buttons that are available when you've created a drawn object.